So uh, second year cards are a great value, especially second year PSA 10s because the rookie year PSA 10s are usually off the charts. So in the background, got my hand solo and carbonite as I like to refer to, uh, the 81 top Henderson and a 10. I got a couple more here uh, that I picked up uh, in recent weeks. First up is this 83 Cal Ripken. MVP year, actually an extra card than his 82 tops, at least his uh, base tops card with a triple player uh, layout. So um, <clears throat> again, PSA 10 and uh, relatively good value uh, compared to a PSA 10 of his rookie year. Um, and so also have one more along the same lines, and that is a 1980 tops Ozzy Smith. I don't know why I say it like that, <laughs> but I do. Uh, and this one. Uh, um, looks real good, obviously, it's a 10, and so a PSA 10 of his rookie card, 79, is totally unobtainable. I'm not even sure how many exist. Uh, even getting a 9 is tough. But, um, again, one of those cases where the second year card is uh, not only a better value, but I think nicer looking than the rookie card. And so there's my little collection of uh, second year 10s. Got some other stuff here. Picked up this... Uh, Ken Griffey Jr. Yeah, this is a 2017 National uh, Sports Card Convention card. Uh, PSA 10. I like this retro design. 87 tops for the Ken Griffey Jr. PC. And um, yeah, so that also was a 10, obviously. And uh, here's a card I probably could have saved for a future episode of uh, Friday Night Vintage, but I don't know when the, that's going to be. So I figure I'll just do it in this video. It's a 69 Tops Bobby Cox rookie card. Hall of Fame manager. I think he's a Hall of Fame. Maybe I'm wrong. But um, longtime Braves manager. And uh, Yankees rookie card here from 69. In a PSA 8 with your typical PSA 8 centering. Still a nice card nonetheless. A little something vintage there. And then I got my, uh, well, I think I showed this last time around, I got the Living Set card. So here's the Aaron Judge. And then I have the, the Derek Jeter that I picked up. And I got the Shohei Otani rookie card. And the Ronald Acuna, or Acuna rookie card. The print run on this is double that of the Otani. This was uh, like a 20,000 card print run. I think this one's in excess of 50,000. So the word is out on Topps Living Set cards. <clears throat> so I'm not sure what that's gonna do. Um, may not be a super valuable card, but some of those early Living Sets have low print runs. Um, so they become probably more desirable. Like the, the Judge is part of Series 1, even though this is not a rookie card. Um, still a nice card. So. That's all I have for you. Uh, second video in two days. That's a that's a damn near record recently. So uh, one last look at the second year tens, and then uh, final shot of the uh, PSA pickups, the Topps Living Set. And once again, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.